this video we're going to build a query in Google Sheets that will always dynamically pull back the most recent five days from today's date. So you can see here we have a data set of orders. One of the columns is order date and we want to build a query that will pull back only the orders that were placed five days from today's date and do it dynamically so that tomorrow this same query will pull back five days since tomorrow's date. So we're going to begin with our query statement. First input is the data we want to query off of. So I'm going to select columns A through D. I'm going to change the end of this range to just the column letter so that it's infinite in case we want to add new records. So I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. You can hit F4 or put dollar signs in front of your row and column references to keep that fixed. Now the next input is our select statement. Well, we want to pull back all four columns, so I'm going to say select star to pull back all of our columns. And then we have our where condition, where we specify our criteria. Well, our criteria column is column B, the order date column. So I'm going to reference column B. And we want to dynamically get the past five days, so we want anything that is greater than or equal to today's date minus five. So since we're specifying a date criteria here, we need to include the keyword date and that date needs to be enclosed in single quotes. So I'm going to begin with an opening single quote and now what we need to do is link this select statement to the today function minus five. Well, in order to do that, we need to temporarily come outside of our select statement. So I'm going to add double quotes to close out our select statement for now and then insert an and symbol because we need to join it to the today function. What we also need to do is format the output of that today function in a date format that the query function will recognize. So we need to use the text function and the text function has two inputs. It has the number we want to format, which that is going to be the output of the today function. And the today function does exactly what you think it would do. It returns today's date, but we want the past five days. So we're going to say, today minus five. So now in our text function again we have our final input which is the format we need that today minus five output to be in. So this needs to be enclosed in double quotes and what we want to use here is four digit year, two digit month, and two digit day. So now we are done with our today function minus five and our text function. We want to join this back to our select statement and open it back up again. So I'm going to use an and symbol again to join it back and then double quotes to come back inside our select statement. So our date criteria has to begin with an opening single quote. It has to end with an closing single quote. So that's the first thing I need to put is our closing single quote for our date value to be in. And the only other thing left that I want to do here is order our query output date values from most recent to least recent. So I'm going to use the keywords order by reference our criteria column again, column B, our date column. And we want that descending because we want the most recent dates on top. So now we are done with our select statement. So I can close that out with a double quote. 
and the only other argument we have is the number of row headers in the data set we want to query off of. We have one row of headers. So I'll hit enter and you can see this pulls back everything from our data set where an order was placed within the past five days from today's date. And since this formula here is dynamic tomorrow it will pull the most recent five order dates from tomorrow's date so this is completely dynamic well that is all for now please remember to subscribe thanks for watching